This is the card we're making. All right, let's get started. Let me show you what I have used for this product. First, I use the Lawn Fawn set, Get Well Before and After. I also used, let's see, we have Nina Solar White cardstock. This piece is five and three quarter, five by three and three quarters for the inside, 80 pound white. And this is Paper Studio Orange and it's five and a quarter by four. Both of those pieces for the inside of the card. Then for the rest of the card, I have two scallop squares and an orange that goes in the middle. That's two and a quarter by two and a quarter. For the front of the card, I have the orange from Paper Studio. I also have Doodlebug designed whale tails under the sea paper. Um, the whale tails is five and a one fourth by three and seven eighths, and this piece is five and one fourth by one and seven eighths. This orange is five and three eighths by four, and this orange is five and three eighths by one and a quarter. And then I have my card base, which is Nina 110 pound solar white cardstock. It is five and a half by 10 inches, and I will score it at four and a quarter and eight and a half. So let me get my scoreboard out. This is a Martha Stewart scoreboard. And we will score at four and a quarter. Now this with 110 pound cardstock, you have to really press into those grooves. And I find that if you don't score it, the paper tends to crack. So it's really important to score it. So then I will use my bone folder to burnish the score lines and then fold this one this direction. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I will take the orange piece and the whale piece. And I'm using Tombow Permanent Adhesive. And I will adhere each layer down. Just like this, all right. Then this one. All right, now the two pieces for my flap. I will glue right here on the front. Nice and straight, there we go. And then my whales. So cute. I just love Doodlebug design paper. All right. So then for the next section on the front, I have this white scallop. And I'm only going to put adhesive on the one edge. And then I'm going to adhere it down. Then I'm going to put the orange on. And this orange piece again is two and a quarter by two and a quarter. And then before I adhere it onto here, I will have to, I'm going to stamp my small scallop. And today I'm using Memento ink, uh, tuxedo black. It is a Copic safe ink. I'm gonna set that and pull up. That turned out nice. Okay. Then I have a little scrap piece here, and I am going to stamp my pill bottle and my band aid since I'm stamping. And I'll set that over here. And then while I have my ink out, I am going to go ahead and stamp the inside of my card. And the first thing I'm going to stamp is the sentiment that says, get whale soon. I just love animal puns. I think they're just so cute. And with a whale that feels much better 
on the inside. All right, that's all the stamping for today. So I can go ahead and set that aside. While I have this out, I'm going to take some scratch paper and I'm going to take some picked raspberry distress oxide ink and my life changing brushes by Picket Fence. And I'm just gonna give the edges some color. It kind of coordinates with the orange and the light pinks that are already in the card to kind of tie it all together. I'm telling you, I love, love, love these brushes. They are worth every penny. You can go as dark or as light as you want. I wanted a little darker in the corners than I did on the edges. Oops, that's okay. We'll just blend it out. So, good thing about distress oxide inks, they sit on top of the paper for a little bit. They don't soak right in right away. And nobody will ever know. All right, there we go. Go ahead and set that aside. And I will take this. And take my orange inside piece here. And glue this down. There we go. Go ahead and add adhesive to this. I'm going to go ahead and glue this on the inside of the card and then that piece will be done. Alright, so all I have left to do is to color my little band-aid and pill bottle and my whale. So I'm going to set that card aside and using my Copic markers I'm gonna start with the whale, and first I'm using C5. For the whale, I'll use C5, C3, and C2. And I'll start, and I color darkest to lightest. Um, I know a lot of artists out there do lightest to darkest, darkest to lightest, but um, I don't know. I think just darkest to lightest works just fine, and it doesn't take as long. So put some darker gray where the, I think the shadows would be. And take the C3, kind of blend that out a little bit. I think my marker's getting a little dry. Might have to refill that. All right. Kind of blend that out as much as I can. I really like to use the flicking motion when I color. And then we'll add the C2 for that lightest area there. Poor little whale, just doesn't feel good now, does he? Okay, so then for the ice pack on his head, I only used one shade. This is R85. And for the shadowing, I just layered it. Like I just added more and more ink to where I wanted the shadows to be. Um, so you don't need like three of every color family. I really love that. And then I'm using RO2 for my lid on my water bag. And then I'm using B O O O for my little thermometer. Oh, isn't he just so cute? All right, he is done. So I'm going to go ahead and flip him over and tape him to the front of my card, just like that. There we go. Now I have the Band-Aid, and for the Band-Aid, I did the same concept. I used E31 with just one marker, and I colored it all, and then I went back and layered on where I thought the shadows might be. Okay. And then for the pill bottle, I used E15 and E21 for the bottle. 
and we'll go ahead and color the bottle and then E21 just blend that E15 right into that I just like the way that looks and I do want to keep the lid and the label um, white so I'm going to add a little C1 just to have a little dimension to the bottle just like that and then I have a little R46 for my little heart I don't know why I have a hard time coloring hearts in any other color so that's that and then because I do have a brother scanning cut but for the purpose of this video and it really doesn't take long to fussy cut these two images out I will just quickly fussy cut them out and put them on my card. Now if I was doing a bunch of these little pill bottles and band-aids, yes, I would definitely go through the process of using my brother scan and cut. But since it's only two, I'm gonna go ahead and get these finished and it just takes a second. And remember when you're fussy cutting, you move the paper, not the scissors. Um, just makes it easier and it's a better cut for you. All right, so there we go. A couple little scraps there. Now I will take my Stampin' Up! Mini Dimensionals and I will put one on the back of my Band-Aid. And it is a tight fit, but it fits. And then one on the back of my pill bottle. Go ahead and set those aside and then peel off the back of my little pill bottle and that will go there and then the back of my band-aid oh it's sticking out just a little so I'm going to trim that mini glue dot or foam dot off just a just a smidge so it's not sticking out of the edge of this band-aid all right there we go and the band-aid is adhered and then last but not least I use these little doodle bug shape sprinkles they're hearts and I put a little pink heart right next to the band-aid and we are done that is it the whole card start to finish not too bad I hope you enjoyed my video. Um, please subscribe to my channel to see any upcoming videos and be notified. Please make a comment and share. Thanks for stopping by because that's incredible.